War and the pandemic have upended life and livelihoods throughout Northeast Ethiopia, where life was already hard, especially for women and girls. High rates of school dropout among girls and harmful traditional practices like early marriage and female genital mutilation, or FGM, have significant health and social impacts. Women lack opportunities to learn, gain employment skills, or pursue good livelihoods. Many of them choose the risks of migrating to Saudi Arabia or other Gulf states to escape what they see as even higher risks and fewer options at home. The Slate Livelihood and Gender Equality Fund is helping to create a safer route to education and economic empowerment for girls and women here in the Amhara region of Ethiopia. Women like Firuza, 23 and unmarried, who has started a sewing business. <laughs> Since May 2020, the fund has trained 520 women on basic business skills, given them seed capital, and helped them start their own businesses. Women are not only earning, but through savings and credit cooperatives, they are saving too. They are using that money to cover household expenses, pay for their children's education, and grow their businesses. Supporting women's economic empowerment goes hand in hand with changing attitudes towards girls' education. One of the fund's key strategies to turn these attitudes around is to hold community trainings with opinion leaders such as teachers, PTA members, religious leaders, and others to raise awareness of their role in putting a stop to harmful traditional practices. These action plans, now being implemented across the region, are a sea change for these communities. Some leaders have an interest in maintaining the existing status quo, but others are more progressive and are willing to fight the inequalities and injustice. Religious leaders agreed that girls should stay in school, that marriage can wait until girls complete their education, and that there is no religious obligation for harmful traditional practices. More than 50 radio spots have been aired to an audience of over 4 million across the region that reinforce these messages, and they've been shared further through radio listening groups and other community awareness sessions. And then there is the practical matter of rebuilding and re-equipping schools that were destroyed and looted during the conflict. One of the top priorities is to support girls' clubs, to educate girls about their rights and create a safe environment for girls to learn. While there is still much work to be done, there are already signs that these efforts are having an impact. Schools and teachers are taking action. Girls' voices are being raised and heard. Men are taking on new roles and advocating for women's equality. Families are changing their attitudes and behavior. And 
and women who have experienced difficult pasts now have paths to brighter futures. This is the kind of work that can only grow from a solid foundation, like the one that the Slate Livelihood and Gender Equality Fund has helped to build. Village by village, school by school, family by family, together, we are giving girls and women the opportunity to flourish right here in their homes in the Amhara region, Ethiopia. Thank you for your support.